Cass is an actress and comedian who's bringing the funny each and every week on her hit Emmy-nominated sketch comedy series, A Black Lady Sketch Show on HBO. Please welcome Gabrielle Dennis. Gabrielle! Oh, my, she's so cute! Gorgeous! Yeah! I'm obsessed with anything that has to do with home decor and renovations, oh. and I hear that you are in the thick of it. Honey. <laughs> Tell us all about it. I've been in the thick of it for too long. <laughs> Same. Uh, Same. So I bought my dream home, right? Mm -hmm. But the process of remodeling has been a nightmare, oh. a living nightmare. There needs to be some laws rewritten about these contractors and what they get away with, okay? You can say that again. Cause... I mean, uh, for all of the cameras, all of the cameras. Okay. You contractors out there, do better. Y'all wrong, better. you know you wrong. So but anyway, they, they tell you breath. January, you be in that house the next year looking at the same demolished kitchen. Listen, I have yet to move into my dream home. That's how bad it's been. Oh, no. no but I'm finally at the stage where I'm shopping, shopping for, like, decor and, like, getting down yeah. to the nits and grits of that. Yeah. So that part is fun. Like, I've gotten past, like, picking out hardware and tile and yeah. paint colors and stuff like that. So now the decor, so, you know, like, this place gives me gives me vibes, gives me, yes. like, great oh, little paneling. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. inspiration for well, good sure. good luck with that. You Thank know, you. one of the interesting things that we found out about you is that you used to be a ballerina. That's why you have the baby. That's <laughs> why you, see you that. have the body. You have the, the position. You know. What inspired you from that to acting? You know, I went to a performing arts high school, so we had to practice a lot of dis disciplines, right? So you audition, and they make you do everything from creative writing to drawing, and I... I, my stick figures didn't cut it. I didn't get into the art department. Um, <laughs> but I got into dance. I got into theater, music theater. Yeah. Um, but my first love was definitely ballet and dance. I wanted to be the first Misty Copeland before we knew who Misty Copeland okay. was. Okay. Right? So dope. So I planned to go to New York and do all of the things, but that did not happen. Um, I started getting acting jobs and stuff like that. My very first job was with Ray, a, a movie called Rage in Harlem with the late, great Gregory Hines. I was at the scene with him. That's incredible. I know. They cut my lines, but that oh. was my first taste of Hollywood. <laughs> they were like, and scene. Um, but it was amazing. And then um, I just kind of went on and pursued life and thought I would go do regular things. And I, yeah. I was, you know, working regular jobs. And the bug just wouldn't go away. So I fell back into it, and uh, here I'm we glad. are. Let me tell you, I am so happy that acting worked out for you. <laughs> yes. Because you are here with us now. And I actually love the fact that you recently co-starred in Tyler Perry's A Medea Homecoming. Yes. What was it like working with Tyler? OK, first of all, I would like to say that I finally arrived, honey, because in certain yes. circles, you have not arrived until you've worked with Mr. Tyler Perry. That's right. Because right? <laughs> as a black actress, when you move to Hollywood, all your aunties, your grandmama, your mama is like, well, I don't understand. Why don't you just work with Tyler Perry? Man, because I don't have Tyler Perry his number in my phone. <laughs> How about that? So I finally, I finally worked with Tyler Perry. Check that off my bucket list. Yeah. Also, he's so great to me. He's so inspirational. Yeah. I went to college for TV production, so my initial goal at that time when I was trying to not pursue acting was to have my own production company, my own yeah. production studio. And he did it. And he's doing it. And he was once upon a time homeless. So for me, he is such this inspirational story of like never giving up on your dreams That's and just right. not setting a bar and a limit on yourself. So he was amazing to work with. And the first day he comes up to me, he's like, now listen, when this lady come up to you six foot something and, and you know, and my boobs and my everything being this full woman, he's like, now don't be intimidated, don't be weirded out. I just got things to do because it's funny working with him yeah. as a director and as Medea. Yeah. So my first scene with him, my first day of work was working with him as Medea. It was hilarious. Oh, he came up in the yeah, yeah. costume yes, and, and in the deep voice you and everything. At the same time yes. in that outfit. Yes. Oh, that is hilarious. We He's love terrible. Tyler. Tyler's amazing. You know? And we also loved you, Mara Brock Akil, CW show The Game. And now there's currently a reboot. Would you want to make an appearance on that? Oh, I would love. If they called and were like, we need you over here to play Janae again, I would love it. Um, I mean, I'm playing a new baby mama on the Upshaws now, but. Mm -hmm. Janae, like, people still are very, very much so invested yeah. interested in that storyline. And they want to know, like, well, what happened to Janae after she got engaged and moved to New York? And where's the baby? And this, then the third. And I'm so proud of Mara Brock Akil and the show and seeing Wendy Raquel Robinson and the whole yeah, gang over yeah. there doing their thing, holding it down. And I would love to go back. I mean, it's such a special place in my heart that that's really how I was introduced to the masses yeah. was on that yeah. show. Yeah, definitely. I remember, oh, such a good show. Loved her. And from that to now the hilariously funny, a black lady sketch show. Yes. Black 
ladies. You do it at all. I love it, which we absolutely love. And it's in its third season. How creatively involved are you and hands-on are, are you with the show? Oh, we get to be very, very involved. So because it's sketch and we're creating these, these characters from scratch, basically, the writers, we get to meet with them at the beginning of the season. They talk to us about the things that we like to do and what we're into and da 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 And then we see a script and it might have a little blurb of something like a description. And then from that, we get to build. We get to meet with the hair department, the makeup department, the wardrobe. Like, I play this one teacher that Miss, Mrs. Miller, she'd be going through it. And uh, <laughs> just everything from the burn of her forehead to the, how her hair is yeah. messed up to, like, a missing button, like, not, you know, just all the little minor details that yeah. help us, in, you know, enhance the character. Yeah, develop who this character yeah. is. Yeah. You know, I love I that. mean, what I love about this show is that they're pulling out black women like me. Yes. <laughs> You know, so I can revisit my sketch comedy chops. How important, Gabrielle, is this type of show to show that black women are funny, black women can do sketches? Man, it's, it's so important because when I look at a lot of my comedic uh, inspirations, they're all male, mostly. Yeah. You know, when you look at the sketch comedy space and a lot of the stand-up comedy space, yeah. it's mostly men. Yeah. Um, I thought I was Martin Lawrence growing up. I could, I could recite every character that he did on the Martin <laughs> yes. show. Um, you know, and then when you look at uh, shows like In Living Color, we had Kim Wayans, but it was mostly male-dominated. Yeah. Yeah. So now here we are in a show that has made history, and I feel like this show is not talked about enough for this it's reason. Yeah. It's We made history, all female black cast, Writers, producers, directors, boom. I'm like, boom. we should be talking and celebrating this yes, more. Yes, exactly. absolutely. But I think because it's such this, um, it's it's this this thing that's just growing. Like, yeah. I feel like season three, people, more people are knowing about it and are talking about it and appreciating it more. Yeah. That I can't wait that five, ten years from now, there's a group of girls or women that have been watching our show yeah. Yeah. and are being instilled with that bug and that inspiration. Somewhere down the road, they're gonna be like, oh, I remember Black Lady Sketch Show. That was my. I mean, we'll feel old by then, but you know, for sure. <laughs> We're no, sure to just be great to know that. We tell Robin yeah. Thede Robin and Thede, Thede, Issa Rae yes. for, you know, Issa. developing this. This is just great. And, and for Showtime, I mean, for HBO giving us that platform. Yeah. You know? That's mm -hmm. major. major. Major platform. So major. Speaking of it, you guys, we actually have a clip from a black lady sketch show. Let's check it out. I am on my way to a today was a good day party and my friends are going to roast me if my feet are ashy. Do you have any lotion or maybe some fruit snacks? I'm also very hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, your feet are really, really ashy. <laughs> you know you can't wear those feet after Labor Day. <laughs> also, did your mother know that you're out here with posh sandals and peasant feet? <laughs> They're so white, they look like they need to speak to a manager. Okay, <laughs> ma'am, these are the kind of reads I am desperately trying to avoid, please. That is, like, awesome. I wanted to talk to you before you go. There's something that was really cool. You're a directing mm -hmm. in Kevin Hart's Women Right Now. Tell us about that. Oh, okay, so when Ty Rudolph called me to do this, I let her do this whole speech that she had planned because I, I feel like she planned it, yeah. but I was like, girl, you, it was yes at the beginning. When you tell me there's all these women, we're giving opportunities to writers to be showcased on at the Sundance Film Festival, you know, it was just this thing that I was like, I want to be a part of anything that's all women and all inspiring and all of those things. So I'm all pro women, like doing it. So um, the uh, LOL Network, which is uh, Kevin Hart's production yeah. company, and then uh, Sundance Film Festival, they Major. got together. We got to uh, writers, they submitted their scripts. From there, they narrowed it down to three. Myself, Brisha Webb, Megan Good, we all directed an uh, yeah. a short film. Then they screened at Sundance. And then from there, they got to pitch and do, um, so then my director, she actually awesome. won mm -hmm. the, uh, the thing where she got to, I can't think of the word, but like she basically pitched and got a, a deal. Mm -hmm. That's so now, incredible. You know, they're really not just making like a little one moment, but they're really growing these writers exactly. and opening a opportunities for them, exactly. really creating real opportunities. And yeah. right now, you catch all of the films on yeah. Peacock streaming, and of course, she got to be a lot of love. You got to be a right? Yep, I'm the so one with Grisha. But I'm like, this just shows you what happens when we have black creators. And shout out to Kevin Hart yeah. for you know establishing this all and helping black females to you know be uplifted. It's so good to see you. This. Thank you, you for stopping well. by. Thank yes. you so much for having me. And congratulations to you, Thank ladies. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Be sure to catch all new episodes of A Black Lady Sketch Show Fridays on HBO and streaming on HBO Max.